So in this Debaco University video, I'm going to add some information uh, to the question, can tissue culture remove hop latent viroid from cannabis plants? All right, something many growers are asking, can tissue culture remove hop latent viroid from cannabis plants? So let's get into a little bit more of the complexities uh, of this as we answer this question. So this does not mean you can stop testing or screening. This is still a needed component. Still a very important part of the process. By testing plants that are infected, they can be culled out as even tissue culture does not ensure a clean plant. And that's something a lot of growers I think have a misconception on. They think, oh, by this tissue culture, I can remove that small number of cells and then I can remove the positivity of that plant and I can clean that tissue. However, culturing from a clean plant and producing known clean plants is a method that can lead to kind of a clean facility as you select out those that are infected. Testing your screen should still occur if you have employees that, or bring other plant material in. Plan on keeping a plant as a mother and you know uh, you still should have a clean facility. So keep this in mind that testing is not removed from the operation even if you're going with tissue culture. But looking specific at tissue culture, is this kind of the answer to this uh, viroid? Uh, based on hops, it is possible to clean uh, tissue and eliminate the passage of the viroid to new tissue. So everything thinks, perfect. I'm just going to uh, take some plants, tissue culture them, and then don't have to worry about this viroid. However, the portion of the plant the sample is taken and the cultivar being used for the plant cells all have an impact on the effectiveness of this process. However, when multiple rounds are done uh, with testing or screening, in between, it is possible to rid a line of this viroid. So it is possible, but it is not, necess not necessarily a one and done. So a lot of people think, I'm just going to tissue culture it and I'll be all clean. Well, even tissue cultured, that plant could still potentially contain the viroid. Now, when we're looking at sampling, uh, the meristem, or the top portion, would be a preferred region. Uh, with tissue culture, all you need is a small number of cells, so where should you take them from? Well, meristem cultures, the very top portion here, is more advantageous compared to using material from a node. So it is possible to get a nodal uh, tissue culture, but you want to really go for the meristem if you're worried about hoplite and viroid. Remember that the viral, viral load uh, can vary by the plant, and some people think uh, this is because the plant grows quicker. You know, as the plant's growing up, we're kind of outgrowing where that virus is trying to go through and run through the plant. Um, that could potentially, um, this may be true to some extent, but in reality, the, vi the virus is not very far away. So when you're talking about that marathon, that very, very top portion, uh, because that virus is also going to be running through that plant as well. So take that into consideration. Common location based on tomatoes, so when inoculated, it's more likely to be found above rather than below the initial point of infection, at least initially. Uh, it is very common in roots, and this may be where the a, it initially concentrates. So if you get a point of infection up here, it will probably accumulate in the roots first, and then work its way above that point of infection, and then over about six weeks, the data seems to show it infects the entire plant. Now, p people are looking to potatoes because uh, a lot of them are vegetatively propagated, often grower in tissue culture to produce virus-free free plant stock that will be used for a number of years and then tissue culture to repeat the process to ensure clean tissue. Uh, keep in mind that cannabis is slightly different, the virus is slightly different, um, but this is something uh, to consider that other plants are being used as an initial protocol and is showing potentially some effectiveness. Now, why that meristem region? Or let's look at a really close version, which you may not have seen of that meristem region. This is the actual growing point of that plant. Uh, the very tip of the plant has the fastest growing cells, a lot of mitosis occurring here. So it may be able to outpace the growth or spread of a virus, or in this case, a viroid. This is not a guarantee, but it does help potentially increase the odds of generating viroid free plant tissue. This is why it should be taken from the meristem and not the bud region. So goals kind of out, outrun it. Um, not always true, uh, but if you're going to sample from a region, that's where I would target and then still test those plants because they still may show positive. Take another meristem um, region, another tissue culture round, and hopefully you can get a clean plant and to create clean plant stock.